The 2017 Ford Transit Custom should be a game changer for the Blue Oval brand. Not because of the slightly improved infotainment option. Not because of the 100 plus colors that it can be painted under the brand's special vehicle options plan. Not even because you can get it with different doors than before. Heck, it's not even down to the new engine under the bonnet. It's all about the transmission for the updated Ford Transit Custom, which, for the first time ever, is available with a 6-speed automatic. Van drivers, rejoice! That left leg of yours can rest once more, no more clutch depressions for you. It's not about that, of course, it's more to do with the statistics around buyer preferences in the van segment, Ford reckons that 60% of purchasers, often major fleet operators, are looking for an automatic transmission when buying a parcel shuttle, and that should help it see a big jump in sales for the new Transit Custom Auto. There's no question that it makes for a far more effortless experience behind the wheel too, with the transmission offering smooth and quick shifts that are decisive enough to ensure smooth or rapid progress depending on the level of throttle input being fed in. The 6-speed auto is an optional extra that pushes the entry-level auto price to $42,240 for the 290S short wheelbase and $44,440 for the longer wheelbase Transit Custom. You can still get the regular 6-speed manual, at $39,690 for the SWB and $41,690 for the 340LLWB, all prices before on-road costs. No matter which transmission you choose, it is paired to a new 2.0-liter four-cylinder EcoBlue engine, and as you may be able to tell by the name of the power unit, it features Euro 6 friendly and blue treatment. It's a good step up on the existing 2.2 liter, being quieter and more refined, from memory, under throttle. And with a little bit more power, now 96 kilowatts at 3500 RPMs, up from 92 kilowatts, and some extra torque, now 385 newton meters from 1500 to 2000 rpms was 350 newton meters from 1450 to 2000 rpms it's not short on poke either building pace rapidly if required there's a well of pulling power to call upon from nice and low in the rev range and during our few hours in the van at its Australian launch in Melbourne earlier this week we found it was up to the task with either nothing in the cargo area, or about 400 kilograms of crated Ford engines. The stop-start system of the engine appeared to work quite well too, though there was a little bit of low rev vibration in stop-start traffic. It's also the most efficient diesel engine offered in the brand's commercial vehicle ranks, with claimed consumption of just 6.4 litres per 100 kilometres for the SWB and 6.6L for the LWB, previously 7.2L and 7.4L. We saw 8.4L slash 100 kilometres over and at times enthusiastic drive through the outskirts of the Victorian capital. It goes well and stops convincingly too, but we reckon the brake pedal is set a little too high to be comfortable if you're a purely right-footed automatic driver. If you two-foot it, it's not too bad. No changes have been made to the suspension or steering, and the Transit Custom remains quite involving and enjoyable to drive, which may be important to you, if you're going to spend most of your working day in a driver's seat. The steering is very direct but it can be chatty over bumpy sections of road, with the wheel jostling in the driver's hands. The turning circle is very good, at 10.9 meters for the SWB and 12.2 m for the LWB. And the suspension McPherson independent up front and leaf spring in the rear, is a bit hit and miss, if you'll pardon the pun. When on Latin, we found it to be a little busy over nasty Aussie back road surfaces, and also pitchy and floaty at lower speeds. For outright unlad and ride comfort, a Mercedes-Benz Vito or Renault traffic is a touch more convincing, though it should be stated that we only drove the SWB models at launch. 
Ford's commercial vehicles guys reckon the changes have been substantial, and to a degree they're correct, but there's an argument to be had over the infotainment safety package on offer. That's because, despite most other models in the Ford range getting the brand's commendable SYNC 3 media system with the latest smartphone mirroring, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, the Transit Custom misses out on the tech. And it's not even an option you can choose, instead, buyers who are interested can get an optional navigation system that is bundled into the City Nav Pack. That pack, in this writer's opinion, really should be a standard fit item in the updated Transit Custom, as it has a rear view camera and front and rear parking sensors included. If you don't option it, you don't get any of that convenient safety tech. It's an old system, and not as good as you'll find in the Hyundai iLoad or Renault traffic, but is an improvement on what came before it. Just. But, $2,100? Come on, Ford Australia, the van is $1,700 more expensive this time around, and the potential fuel savings for consumers from the new 2.0 litre will take a fair while to recoup. But you do get six airbags. Dual front, front side and curtain, and a carryover 5-star ANCAP crash test score from when the vehicle was tested back in 2014. You don't get any of the active safety tech you can have in a Mercedes van, like blind spot monitoring, forward collision alert or autonomous emergency braking, but the stability control system has been updated to include crosswind assist. The interior has seen little in the way of other changes but it remains cleverly kitted out for commercial vehicle operators, with lots of loose item storage like cup holders up high on the dash sides, bottle holders down near the outboard occupants' shins, and a dash top cubby with a USB port and auxiliary jack, not to mention one of two 12-volt outlets in the cabin. The seat layout is a one plus two configuration, with good adjustment and comfort for the driver, and decent sculpted seats for both middle occupants. There's tilt and reach adjustment for the steering wheel too, but just watch your fingers when you're adjusting it, it can be grabby. There are steering wheel mounted audio controls, a voice control system that will leave you frustrated, and a digital speedo with a very small readout, better than not having your speed purely in analog dial mode, though. What about the load space? Then, as mentioned earlier, there are improvements to the available door options, including the addition of a tailgate option for $550, great for hand-loading couriers, particularly if it happens to be a rainy day. The barn doors remain the standard fit, and the addition of a driver's side sliding door option, expensive, at $1,000, bringing the Ford up to standard. There's a standard fit insulated bulkhead with a small cabin window, but rearward vision from the mirror isn't excellent, the traffic's big rear glass is much better in that regard. There are still plenty of clever features, like the standard pop-up roof racks with ladder clamps that are integrated into the roof, they're ultra handy but with the racks up they can be noisy at highway speed. There are eight tie-down points in the back, and the floor and walls are lined for protection. Ford has also stepped up its commercial focus with its servicing plan, with maintenance on the new 2.0-liter engine due every 12 months or 30,000 kilometers, rather than every 15,000 kilometers as used to be the case. The warranty is now better for distance drivers too, with 3 years slash 200,000 kilometers of cover, and the same for the brand's roadside assist. On the whole, there are plenty of improvements to the 2017 Ford Transit Custom, and yes, you did read it right, there are more than 100 colors to choose from in Ford's special vehicle options paint range for a set cost of $1,150, solid or metallic. The standard palette consists of white, no cost, as well as blue, two silvers and black, $550. We're sure the updated model will extend the appeal of the Transit Custom, and deservedly so, 
but there are still some shortfalls in safety and tech that we reckon would have made it an even better thing than it already is. Is it a game changer, then? Not quite, 